What's up YouTube, this is Zertrix and this is my third tutorial on my Zertrix design channel. And uh, this tutorial is going to be simple as well, like I said I'm going to be doing um, some simple tutorials to get my channel started off with. Um, these are for the basic um, Photoshop users that aren't too experienced with it, just started using it. But if you're an experienced one you could watch it too and leave some feedback if you'd like. But this is how to uh, use textures, like uh, if you download textures from any texture packs from like GFX packs or anything. And they look like just a picture with like rust and like cracks and stuff and you don't know really what they're for this is going to show you how to use them and how to blend them into your text to make them look nice i already made my 3d text so this is for after you're done on cinema 40 making your 3d text so i'm going to load up some um of my older text i haven't done 3d text in a long time because i've stopped doing 3d backgrounds with uh 3d text on them because i just don't like 3d text anymore in my opinion, it's just going out of style slowly, and everybody's gonna start doing 2D text again pretty soon here. In my opinion, but um, yeah, there's some text. I want to make it a little bit smaller because that's pretty gigantic. Uh, right there. All right. So say this is your text on your background. You want to choose the layer of your text, and on, on the toolbar on the left, uh, four down the fourth one down it looks like a little sparkling wand so if you hover over it says magic wand tool you could either click it or t uh, tap the W key on your keyboard and after you click that and you want to click anywhere outside of your text when you're on the text layer it should make a dotted line all around your text and the outside of the screen all right now after you've done that file open and then open up one of those textures you don't have any look them up on youtube uh, gfx packs texture packs they all have them whatever but yeah most people have textures and know what they are but some people don't know how to use them but it, all the advanced um, users know how to use them already i'm just going to choose a random one uh... i don't know which one to choose to be honest so many i'm just going to choose this one looks pretty ugly but oh well um, looks like a door or something. I don't know, but you might have this in your texture pack. It's a pretty common one, I think. So, oh, I did that a little bit too fast. So what you want to do is, when you're on this picture, you want to click and hold that picture. Drag it to this little tab on the top left. That's your text and your background, whatever you have here. Then you want to drop it in the center of your text. And then it should cover up your text. If it doesn't, just undo it and retry it. Hit delete on your keyboard. It should delete all the outskirts. Then you want to click the dotted line, which is the second item down on your uh, toolbar to the left. Then click anywhere outside of the text area, and it will make the lines disappear. Then you could either double click that texture layer, and go to blend mode, and go through these. But what I like to do is a shorter way, and it says normal right here, that's the blending mode as, as well. You could click the arrow, then click the arrow again to highlight it blue. Then you can use the scroller to scroll through them. Uh, I'm going to use the or the magnifying tool and zoom in the actual pixels. Then I'm going to go back to this. Alright, so I'm just going to scroll through them. So you do the same. Um, go to blending mode, scroll through these until you find one that you like. This texture doesn't look that great. It will look good all depending on your texture. Some people like this style right here where it looks like it's like over, um, what is the word, saturated, I don't know, over... Uh, I can't think of the word, I don't know, but it looks really bright, and some people like that style, especially on layered text, but some don't. Uh, I mean, all textures look different, so just go through all your textures and try different things with all your textures. You could change the opacity, you could change the opacity to make it look different, everything. But um, here's another way to make your text look better. I'm um, going to delete that texture. Click, Double click your text layer and you want to hit gradient overlay and then whatever it is you could go to blend mode you could change the color of your gradient like take that white change it to like green or something and then you go to uh, blend mode and then click that or I'm gonna go back to normal just click the arrow and then click normal just so you could scroll through them now you could hover over it and scroll scroll through them this makes your text look a little, little bit better in my opinion um, you could just mess around with this too. If you see right there, it looks pretty pretty decent. You can change the opacity as well on here. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you could do with uh, making your text better. That's a strong subject because there's so many things you could do to make your text look good on Photoshop. It's not even funny. 
you'd think that you have to do it all on Cinema 4D, but no, it's not true. You could do a lot of your text enhancements on um, Photoshop. I'm gonna try a different color, and then I'm gonna end this tutorial. Um, I'm gonna do blue, light blue. I'm gonna go back to normal, and then scroll through them all. See, that also changes the color of your text. There, there's just a lot of stuff you could do with it. I mean, just go ahead and experiment with it. It's just little things that you could do with your text like this that can make it look better. You just gotta mess around with it a lot. Change the opacity. I mean, you may not think it looks good, but to some of the new people on Photoshop that are just starting to use it, they'll think it looks good. But at my level of GFX, I've been doing it for a long time. I mean, it's just... I don't know. I don't even like 3D text anymore, but yeah. Um, that's all I got for you guys today. I'm going to be uploading a lot more tutorials on GFX, speed arts, progressions, and whatnot, some gaming videos here and there. But yeah, I'm out. Just stay tuned on my channel. I'm going to be doing this for a long time. I'm going to stay active as possible on my channel. But peace out, bitches. No, I'm just kidding.